Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Starbound running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now the game is currently running at the full 1080p resolution and there is no real in-game graphics settings to adjust or anything like that. And we are running at the stock 15 watt TDP. And as you can see by the results that you see on screen, the level of performance that we're getting out of this is abysmal. We're talking about an average that is pretty much around 30 FPS with 1% lows that are in the teens. And I'm not 100% sure what is going on here, but the level of performance that we're getting in this game is absolutely brutal and i just don't get it it's a 2d adventure game and we're getting worse performance than full 3d rendered games like valorant and league of legends and rocket league and games like that and i just don't understand what it is the only thing i can think about is the fact that this is an open gl game now amd supposedly fixed the open gl drivers a few months ago along with when they fixed direct x11 but the thing is is the level of performance performance that we're getting here is just abysmal. I really don't know what is causing this bad of performance. I was actually making a list of games that would actually run well on this APU. And, you know, I downloaded this game to try it out because I was expecting it to be pretty much an easy game to run. And it's the opposite of that. It seems to be a really difficult game for this APU to run. And again, the only thing I can think about is the OpenGL drivers. You'll see that the GPU utilization that we're at is an exactly the highest and the clock speeds that we're reaching for the gpu aren't really that high our cpu isn't being fully utilized but it's pretty much just using like one thread and it's running it at practically the maximum clock speed of the cpu at all times there so i'm not 100 percent sure really what is causing the issues here but it was a repeatable problem this wasn't just a one-off issue i checked the drivers and everything to make sure i was on the latest ones and switching over to the 25 watt tdp actually ended up boosting our performance to at least a d decent level where now we're pretty much at a 60 FPS average with 1% lows in the 30s. So it's a far better experience here, but we had to raise the TDP all the way up to 25 watts. Now it's not utilizing the full 25 watt TDP. It's pretty much more around 20 to 23, but still the level of performance that we're getting is just pretty bad for what is just a 2D adventure game. I really don't understand why it's so bad. And the only thing I could chalk it up to is just the fact that it's OpenGL. I would pretty much have to get a list of OpenGL games and test them out and see if there's any inconsistencies going on there. But really, this was a surprising experience here and uh, very disappointing because I was hoping this would be one of those games that would run really well on here. I mean, we've tried AAA games that run well on here, and this is just giving us this level of performance at a full 25 watt TDP. I mean, just look at the temperatures that we're reaching just to try to get a playable experience on a 2D game like this. It's actually actually ridiculous i don't really understand why it's like this but it just it seems to be the case now of course raising the ddp did solve a lot of the problems that we're having if you look at those frame times they are a lot better than the, where they were at the 15 watt ddp i mean if we just jump back to that you can see here that it's just it's brutal it's absolutely brutal and i really do not understand why it's like that at all but yeah going back to the full 25 watt ddp you can see this is pretty much the only way to get a half decent experience here at least at the full 1080p resolution we can of course drop things down to 720p and see if that can boost the level of performance but the fact that we even have to do that for a game like this is really ridiculous and we're just in early game here this does not mean we're doing any boss battles or any of the larger stuff that happens later on where things get more intense where more than likely the performance will start to suffer but you can see here that dropping the resolution down to 720p and staying at the 25 watt TDP, which again, the system's not fully utilizing all of that because the GPU isn't exactly clocking up super high and it's not really seeing super high utilization and neither is the cpu but at least like this we are getting a full locked 60 fps average with one percent lows that are now in the mid 40s and we're getting a far better gaming experience overall but we had to drop the game down to 720p for this i'm just blown away i'm, I'm legitimately blown away by how bad the results are here and this game runs perfectly fine on every other system that I've tested out. It's not like the game itself has really bad optimization or anything like that, or at least not noticeably bad. I really wish I still had the 1135G7 from Intel just to test this out and see if it would get similar results to this on there because this is just really weird overall i mean the fact that we have to drop down to 720p to get an actual decent level of experience at it here is just it's insane so anyways i hope you found this 
quick look at this game interesting. It is one of those things where I was just blown away by how bad the results really were. Let me know if you guys have any ideas on what could be the problem here or if you have any solutions or anything like that, or if you're, you've encountered these problems on any other APU systems. Of course, if you found this video interesting or useful, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.